Hi. In this video, we will calculate the present value of unlevered free cash flows. Let's link unlevered free cash flows to the cash flow sheet. We can copy the formula for all periods. Next, we need to introduce the discount factor, which is directly dependent on the number of periods for which we are discounting. We will be discounting for all of the forecast periods. Let's type here, above each financial period, how many years it is distant from the present. FY14 is one year from now. Hence, we will write 1. FY15 will be 2, and so on. The last period in our model, FY18, is five years from now. You can see the formula for calculating present value of future cash flows on the right side of the screen. We have to select the inputs that apply to our current case. So we will have 1 divided by parenthesis 1 plus the cost of capital, WAC. I will fix the WAC reference, closing the parenthesis and elevating to a degree which is this number here the number of periods that we are distant from the present. Let's copy the formula for the rest of the periods. What is the actual meaning of the discount factor that we obtained here for each period? The discount factor indicates how much we value a cash flow of 1 that we will receive x periods from now. In our current example, if we know that the company will produce a cash flow of $1 in FY18, its value for us today is 62 cents. Money today is more valuable than money tomorrow. Now that we have the unlevered free cash flows and the discount factors for each period, we can easily calculate the present value of unlevered free cash flows by multiplying the two numbers for each period. Let's format this line as a subtotal. We have calculated the present value of cash flows which the business will produce during the explicit forecast period. The next step will be to consider the period after 2018. In our next video, we will calculate the continuing value of the business. This is a 365 Careers video. Thank you for watching.